Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, today I kind of got to thinking, and this, this is a little bit different video uh, compared to what you've uh, been used to seeing here lately, but uh, periodically I do kind of, you know, personal kind of vloggy, kind of talking about things, uh, you know, sort of videos. And this is going to be one of those. Uh, if you weren't following my channel, or if you do follow my channel and you just haven't kept up with everything, you know, uh, like you should be. Uh, things in my life uh, kind of started taking a, a big change around September, October of 2020. And uh, without trying to figure out everything and tell you every single thing let's just say that we ran into some money from our insurance company as a lot of people did we've gotten bonuses just out of nowhere we've gotten refunds on other weird things just sporadically you know over these last few months um uh, stimulus checks we've gotten just different things and of course you know our normal everyday income you know that we that you have and then you have some that you can spend and all that uh along with selling things from you know my mountain bike to uh some old video games and stuff like that to just uh a bunch of a random bunch of just income over the last few months uh, just by surprise and if you haven't watched my video I made about getting the refund from Blue Cross Blue Shield that a lot of people got you ought to watch that you want to talk about one in a billion chance that was one in a billion chance you know why just to recap we got a mail and uh, you know said Blue Cross Blue Shield at 99.99999 percent of the time I throw that away. I just throw it away. But that day, I happened to open it. For whatever reason, I thought, okay, I'll open it. And surprise, surprise, my wife and I both got checks for refunds. How does that even happen, guys? Plus, we, final, plus we also got... Our income tax that was seven months behind schedule because of COVID and because of uh, something that we did wrong on our taxes and it just took an extra long time. We got all that money within the same time. Income tax and those checks from Blue Cross Blue Shield. And those, I'm telling you, one in a billion chance for me to open up those Blue Cross Blue, Blue Shield envelopes. There was no reason for me to, ever. So that's just one of the crazy things that happened. Now, what I've done with my share of the money, and this is, this is, uh, you know, collabing with the wife, you know. When you're married, you can't just go out and spend money, or you shouldn't just spend money without talking to one another. I'm good about that. She's not as good about that, but I'm good about that. So... With the wife's blessing as far as just, you know, yeah, do it. Don't feel guilty about it. Uh, I have bought, designed, made everything, you know, from my office to the computer that I've got to... buying capture devices and and webcams and, and this GoPro and buying uh, you know I've got videos throughout you know in my YouTube that you can go and check out that looks at these things look at this this is not what I'm supposed to have right now this is we don't just come into this this doesn't just happen guys it's crazy all of this stuff I designed this room, I painted it, did everything from shelves to brackets, the color choices, the lighting, the decor, uh, 
everything. My computer, monitors, speakers, all this stuff I've done. I've done all this. A custom made uh, piece of art that I had my family and, and myself be a part of. I, I made this and of course that's not my original art. But I put it together and designed it and printed it out and did the painted the frames, painted the frames. That's my picture. I took that, took that picture myself. All this, all this, all these consoles, all this stuff there. All this stuff, guys. I'm not supposed to have all this. Okay? Let me show you something else. This goes right along with it. My gym. My new gym that I have going on. Look at this. From my high and low pulley, to my bench, to my leg press, to all these dumbbells. All these dumbbells. I just cleaned this out today. A lot of hard work. Got that cleaned out. All this stuff, guys, and the things that were missing in my life were these two things. See, I have a passion, and I talk about passions and loves and hobbies on my channel all the time. And it's not about just having things. Having things don't interest me. I'm not a collector. I'm not a hoarder. I don't care to just have things, okay? Working out, computers, fiddling around with computers and doing that kind of stuff, um, to bicycles, you know, found my love again for, for cycling in 2016. And uh, just these things are a part of what makes Mikeyson me. It's what makes Michael, Michael. It's what makes me tick. This is my life, this is my soul, my blood. These things are instilled in me for years and years and years and years. This stuff is me. It's not just about having things. It's about having things that you have a passion and a love for. I've had a passion and a love for working out since the 90s. Regardless if I worked out hard and heavy, non-stop for countless years don't matter. The fact is, is I've had a love and a passion for it since the 90s. And I've had a love and a passion for the human body and uh, it's all its forms from the biggest mass monsters in the world to the most fit, just athletic looking guys in the world. And same for women. I love the human body. That's what got me into drawing in the 80s. Well, that and monster trucks and stuff like that. But uh, the human body, I've always had a fascination for. And working out goes along with that. Fitness and all of that. That don't mean that I'm Mr. Fit. That don't mean anything. Believe me, I'm fat, out of shape, old. I have a bad diet. I eat too much. Everything. But it's a passion. And this stuff makes me as happy and as fulfilled as you can you can even think to imagine and the same is true with uh with my office this isn't just an office this ain't just a room this room is filled with me this is my personality this stuff is my loves and my passions. Now you'll see stuff on a lot of these, on these couple of shelves I have here. Now, I'm not a collector. I don't like a lot of collecting stuff. It just gets in the way and it gets dirty and dusty and just sits there. It just sits there. But it's, in here, it's decor. I kind of have it for decor to, you know, kind of set off the room and potentially, you know, you might see it in a video and ask me, hey, what's that or what's this or that's cool or that's cool or what have you. You know, that's what this is for. That's what you do whenever you especially do like YouTube videos and stuff like that. You want to have something interesting to look at. And I spent a lot of time and a lot of money in here. 
and with the computer and all the gadgets I got for my computer, the cameras, the capture devices, all the stuff to the GoPros and tripods and 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 I got all my decor set up and new cabinets and 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 just everything and this is as much me as the gym is as working out as much a part of my life as my bicycle is I've been riding for uh, just over five years now and I have been dedicated to that for over five years now uh, that don't mean that I don't miss that don't mean that I ride seven days a week because I surely don't I'm doing good now I'm doing pretty good so far the last couple of months and I had no idea I was going to. I didn't start out this year thinking that. I started out this year coming off of, you know, October, November, December, January, February, uh, going through a rough winter where I didn't even want to get out. I rode maybe once a week to once every couple of weeks or so. I just didn't care. I was I didn't feel like messing with it. And so as I was coming in to 2021, I thought, you know what? If I can ride at least once or twice a week, steady, and keep going, I'm good. Well, come around March, I just kind of kicked, you know, started kicking in a little bit, and it started becoming more routine again. And also about that time, this arm and shoulder and everything started relaxing. Uh, you don't watch my videos or keep up, I have a bad, horrible, 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 shoulder to go along with my horrible back so I wasn't sure if I'd ever get to work out again but I was kind of looking at workout equipment and thinking well maybe I could at least get a bench and a couple of dumbbells just something lightweight just so I can get a little tightness back into the skin and get some blood flowing and then instantly before I even got to doing anything really the shoulder totally relaxed like it doesn't bother me now, it does if I try to do something stupid, I can feel like I shouldn't be doing that, then I don't do it. So, I have an underlying problem still, but it's not bothering me. And instantly, my God, I'm going to work out. I can work out. So, although I'm not benching heavy weights, and I'm not squatting heavy weights, and I'm not deadlifting heavy weights, I'm still working out. I mean, I have 100-pound dumbbells in there that I'm using on the regular. Um, and I'm shoulder pressing 80 pound dumbbells, which is amazing. So all this stuff combined, the money that just came in and then the selling of things and more money and just stimulus checks and, and feeling free and not feeling guilty for spending money. See, I have a hard time with that over the last several, several years. Uh, I've had a hard time spending money. I just don't like it. Uh, I feel like I'm doing wrong. I feel like something's going to happen and I'm not going to have money to take care of the whatever happens. So I didn't want to spend money and I got rid of all my stuff when we moved. Gym equipment, all my construction tools, all my home theater uh, projector and screen, you know, just all my stereo stuff, the AV stuff, everything gone. Uh, that I worked hard for and built a lot of it myself. All my stuff I got rid of. And one of the first things, and, and I kept my original Xbox, my PlayStation 2. And I had my old la my old desktop computer that I built. And once it went dead, then I just took over my wife's old laptop that she wasn't using. And that's what I was using for forever until I was able to buy a new computer. Out of nowhere, it's out of nowhere. It's like, I don't have that kind of money just to go spend that, you know, without saving. And then boom, all that money. And it's something I love and I adore. And it brings life to me. And again, it's not just about having something. It's about having something you're passionate about. Something you have a love for. And that's one of the things. And all this stuff just happened. I put time and effort into everything I do. All of this stuff from cycling to my gym equipment to going on my walks every day to my office 
to t trying to take care of myself mentally and physically and emotionally. And it all just goes together into one big thing because it's all connected. It's all a part of one of one big thing. So for those of you uh, who feel like you're missing that something in life, it very well could be that you're missing out on that passion, that hobby, that love, that something that really speaks to you and that is you. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that give up stuff when they turn, you know, get older or whatever, and they drop, you know, things that they enjoy and for no reason. And you should not do that to yourself because you have one life to live. It's a short life and you should live it uh, enjoying the things that you have a passion for. And, you know, just telling you my story here, it, it almost just does no good. It, it just don't hit you the way that it hit me and even the way that it hit my wife. You know, she got some extra money, too, from all from from a lot of stuff. It, it just it don't hit you the same. And uh, and yeah, we are responsible with money. We pay our bills. We try to always make sure that we have stuff for the house and, you know, a little, you know, a hundred dollars here. If a battery goes out or a hundred dollars there, if a tire goes out, you know, we try to make sure we have stuff within reason you know we got the new driveway that we're getting put in um you know that's for my school bus that's to get it off this get it off our main driveway uh so to quit messing it up and tearing it up so we're getting the driveway put in yeah uh, it's been there now for a while and the guy keeps putting it off and i'm like dude okay all right well i understand okay anyway anyway we're gonna be getting that put in when we, and we have the money put back for it some of the extra money that's come in so this video is just letting you know that man the craziest things can happen to change your life and just out of nowhere you know out of nowhere my life is totally different now than it was you know a year ago totally different that don't mean I still still have you know, depression and, and, and problems going on. I do. I always will. I fight it every day. But the fact that I have a couple of things again in my life that I love and I have such a passion for uh, helps out so much. Helps me to deal with things so much. You know, nothing's perfect. I still got, you know, when you're married, you still have slight marital issues. Still, you you know, you don't always see eye to eye on things, little bickers here, little bicker in there. Just normal stuff. You know, you still got that to deal with and then you have life and, you know, just every, nothing's perfect. But things are so much better and just so different now that I'm able to do the things that I love to do. And to know that, you know, a lot of it was done with just extra money. You know, without having to go and spend a lot of our everyday cash, you know, that we make from working. You know, some of it, you know, we have put some in there, you know. I've used some here and there, but most of it has come from just extra money that we've made or, you know, got, just come into. So, anyway, I hope this video kind of inspires you to just uh, kind of enjoy yourself and enjoy life and make sure you enjoy the things you have a passion and love for. And if you don't have a passion and love and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, you need to find one because it can help. It helps a lot. And, uh, it gives you more reason, you know, your days, your day, your daily reason is not supposed to just, you know, be get up, go to work, come home and, uh, you know, get through life until you, you know, bite the dust bite the bullet, bite the whatever you're biting, right? Enjoy yourself. So I just wanted to do a little recap and a little little uh, update on things. Let's turn this light out. Let's get spooky. Ooh, burgundy, burgundy. So dark, are you scared? I'm a little nervous. All right. So guys, this video is going on 20 minutes. And I'm sorry for rambling on, but I kind of had some things I wanted to say and talk about. And I just kind of wanted to kind of wanted to show you and give you an update on things. 
And uh, yeah, today I cleaned out that closet in my gym. It was full of just crap. I mean, tons of crap. And I took it all out. Of course, that dresser that was in there, I took it out. I got it all taken out and in the shed and I got tons of stuff thrown away and I did a lot uh, all by myself, mind you. Hope you enjoyed my channel and just kind of catching up with things and, uh, and I hope you find it interesting because I find it completely interesting and crazy. Uh, just let me move my camera. I'm sorry about that. Uh, just how things kind of happen, man, in life and again, nothing's perfect. You know, anything can happen. Anything can throw a kink in the old chain, right? So, anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this video off now. It's going on 22 minutes. All right, one more time. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And be thankful, all right? Be awesome and enjoy life. We'll see you all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!